welcome back to Beacon Bites, episode two. I'm Maggie Milliken, your host for the day, and today we're gonna be. Hey, hey! I said I was gonna be here. Hi, I'm your host, Joshua Wright. Uh, welcome to Beacon Bites, episode two. You ready? Twisted Taco. Twisted Taco. Let's head in there. Let's go. What did you order, Josh? I got a chicken quesadilla, which comes with several things that I can't read, so I'll show you when it comes out. Yeah, can I get the Hills chicken? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Alright, we're at Beacon Bites. Oh, I need a little First review of the restaurant oh. overall is great employees. Oh. Wow. What did you get? I got the chicken quesadilla with everything but jalapenos. Why did you not get jalapenos? I'm allergic to jalapenos. That's not true. I think I oh got, God. I think this is called the like really Chicken Hills prof, prof, maybe. And it's chicken and salsa and queso and lettuce. The chips could really use an improvement. I would never have napkins. I'm gonna go get a napkin. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. About to dive in. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. The chicken. It's really juicy. A lot of juice flowing out here. I think that the quesadilla might be the better move, solely because. It's a little cold just like because it is like a pick your own thing type deal. It makes more sense to get them to heat it up for you in the little quesadilla. I feel like that was probably a smarter decision. Also, I love crispy stuff and this is pretty crispy so like, yeah. there you go. Spilt chicken on my ball card. The chicken though is way better than any other chicken that I've eaten on this campus so I will give it that compared to like the Subway chicken which is subpar and compared to the Stokely or the PCB chicken. This chicken tastes pretty high quality, which is a plus. Hard to find around here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So on the tier list, what would you rank yours? I'm going to give it a B plus. Solely because I wish there were more toppings on the tacos. It's just lettuce and chicken, which is kind of... And it's a good option if you want Mexican food on campus without having to leave campus and not going to the strip either. I'm definitely coming back. It's good. I like it. It's nice that it's got meal equivalency. And I think you can get a combo with meal equivalency. And then whatever doesn't meet Union's dining dollars on the rest. Which is really helpful when you're tired of eating in the cafeteria the same thing every day. Oh yeah, so like for most standard meals in there, if you've got meal equivalency, so you're gonna pay like three bucks for each meal for a combo. So not bad at all. And it's so convenient, especially if you live in Brown. On the freshman tier list, this is pretty high up there. Like I understand the older generation maybe doesn't get it, but they also accept Flex. So I mean. I don't even know what Flex is, so. But can you Flex, Josh? <laughs> Twisted Taco gives you gains. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Dude, Twisted Taco is making me fat, like with a pH. I kind of want to interview some people on the street about Twisted Taco. I feel like that's not enough people know about it. Do you guys want to talk about Twisted Taco? You know the restaurant in here? Yeah. You I've ever been? been? I've been there one time. Are you a fan? Sorry, right, yeah. Would you suggest it to people? Sure. Yeah. Dope. That's another raving review from another UTK student. Incredible. Nachos. You just pour it on your napkin. Nachos. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to talk about Twisted Taco for the newspaper? Oh, really? no, uh, it's alright. I get it. That really broke me. 
I might have to just go stand close to the door and start yelling at people. Hey, do you want to talk about Twisted Taco? For the newspaper? You ever eaten in here? Yeah. Do you live in Brown? I'm moving today. Oh, oh exciting. Really? Is today your first day? Yeah. Oh my. I'm still moving in like right now. Well, I mean, have you eaten here? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like that it's in your own dorm? Yeah. Dope. What's yeah. your favorite thing on the menu? The oh, that's oh, what that's I got. What you got. It's pretty. It's good. I think that's what makes makes the restaurant yeah. what it's good it's about. Not even about the tacos. The twisted quesadilla. Twisted there quesadilla. You go. Twisted you quesadilla. Name. Nice talking to you. Happy yeah. Yeah. day. Congratulations. Chicken quesadilla is good. We can confirm that much. Yeah. On the tier list, it's probably gonna sit at like a B tier. Because like it's not great. Like I don't think like oh I want to go to Twist Taco because it's so good. But I can definitely see like coming here and be like Twist Taco. Yeah, it's pretty good. And the price isn't bad. Otherwise, if the price is really bad, it'd be like C tier. But price is pretty good. Food's pretty good. Solid B tier. I'm coming here again. I'm on the similar page, but for different reasons. I have a B tier. I think that it's very worth your while if you do it during meal equivalency, which starts after 4.30, because then it's gonna be super cheap. But also, dining dollars can cover most of it in the first place. But the chicken quesadilla, I think, is a move, because there's no other options for a good chicken quesadilla this close to campus for that good of a price. So I think that that alone makes it a B tier. It would make an A tier if the tacos had been better, based, just solely based for the name. I don't feel like Colin falls apart. I think that's a, I think that's a user error. How am I supposed to make this not fall apart? Hold it better. <laughs> don't use your little baby hands like that. Maybe try. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, now it's not falling apart at all. <laughs> Problem solved. Beautiful. And that's all for this episode. See you next week. See you next week. Oh, yeah.